How do you determine the best investment for you? In my last video, I talked about the single most important question that you can ask as an investor, any type of investor. And that question is, where's the best place for my money? Well, how do you determine that? My name is Lee Harbaugh. I'm a professional pianist. I'm a realtor and a real estate investor. And in order to determine the best place for you to put your money, you have to ask yourself three questions. The first question is this, what is my expected rate of return? The second question, how much risk am I taking with this money in whatever particular investment that I'm considering? And the third question is, what is the time commitment involved for me in this investment? Let me explain those in a little bit more detail. The rate of return is sort of intuitive. If you invest $100,000 in something and you get $110,000 back at some point in the future, that's a 10% rate of return. But 10% rate of return is not really the same across all investments because there's risk that you're taking with your investments. So for example, if you take that $100,000 and you invest it in cryptocurrencies and you make $110,000 in say six months, that's a 10% return in six months. In the period of that six months, your $100,000 probably went up and down several times. It may have gone down to 90 at one point, maybe 80, maybe 75. It may have bounced back up to 150 and then it settled at 110 in six months. So you got a 10% return in that six month period, but you took an awful big risk with that money in that six month period because there was also a chance that in six months that it may have been at 75 or 50 or whatever. On the other hand, if that $100,000, if you took it and invested it in say uh, a CD at a bank, well, in six months, I don't know right offhand what the CD rates are, but I'm pretty sure they're really low right now because pretty much everything is really low in terms of interest rates right now. So if you let's say in six months, that $100,000 may be worth 101 or maybe 101 and a half or something like that, if you're lucky. Um, so it's not a big return, but there was very, very, very little risk in that. You knew from the outset that you were gonna get that back at the end of the six months. So the risk was, was very low in the, in the case of purchasing the CDs, investing in the CDs. So you've got to, you've got to determine what you think the uh, anticipated rate of return is going to be, and you've got to determine what the risk is you're taking with an investment. And then the third thing you've got to consider is what's the time commitment for you? If you're going to invest in, let's say, stocks or mutual funds or maybe an index fund, that's generally pretty easy. You can invest it in something like the S&P 500 index fund. You can just let it sit and don't ever have to think about it again. So there's a, not a lot of time commitment in that for you, if that's the right place for your money. And if you're okay with the expected rate of return of the S&P 500 index fund. On the other hand, let's say you're going to invest in real estate. Real estate is a great safe investment, but it does require some time especially if you're investing in things like rental homes, because you have to maintain the home, you have to maintain the tenant, you have to make sure there's a tenant in the house, you have to deal potentially with tenant issues, paying rent. Um, you can always hire a management company to do a lot of this for you, but even in, even in the case where you're hiring a management company, the management company is still gonna be reaching out to you on occasion for advice on things like, um, you know, maybe the air conditioner goes out or the hot water heater goes out and they've gotta call you up and you've gotta decide uh, what you wanna do, who you wanna to use to fix the problem or replace the uh, appliance. So again, there's, there's a, a, a more significant time commitment to you when you're talking about most real estate investments. So to recap, when you're trying to figure out the best place for your money, Three things that you've got to consider are the expected rate of return, the amount of risk you're going to take, and the time commitment for you. Now, once you've done all three of those things, if you've determined that real estate is the place for you, great. Stay tuned to my next video, where I'm gonna talk about the seven steps to finding a successful real estate deal. See you soon.